Now, don't panic. An asteroid could hit Earth within the next decade. Experts say the chances that 2024 YR4 will collide with our planet are pretty low. But if it does head our way, it could be big enough to destroy a city. Yes. So how worried should we be? Uh, here to give us his thoughts is astronomer Chris Lintott. Um, I'm terrified, Chris. How long have we got? Well, you don't have to worry until 2032. Um, that's when the potential impact is. And the current data says there's about a 2% chance of the asteroid hitting us. So that's, what, 1 in 45? So it's not far off picking a single card out of a deck. But we don't know whether it's going to hit yet. There's stuff we can do in the meantime if it is a threat. Um, and we also know where on the Earth it's likely to hit. There's a... There's a um, band of, of possible impact sites that runs from northern South America across the Atlantic, across Central Africa, uh, and then on to Southeast Asia. So we already know a lot about this possibility. It's the first time we've had an asteroid like this and advanced warning that there might be a hit from something this size. And, and so we have time to observe it and plan. Thank goodness. Um, and the closer it gets, of course, the more information we're going to get about where exactly it will hit. Um, and, it, of course, it could hit in the ocean, couldn't it? Which it, Would, would it that could. be OK? Would that be harmless? Well, it depends where in the ocean it hits. If it hits near to a coast, then you could end up with a Susan army. But, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. The problem is that this is a tiny asteroid. It's about, what, 50 to... Somewhere between 50 and 90 metres across, we think. So it's about the size of a, a 747 jet. Um, which means it's faint in the sky, so it's hard to track. We can see it the minute. It was discovered in late December because it's close to the Earth right now. But it's heading out into the outer solar system. And by early April, we're unlikely to see it again until it comes close again in 2028. So in a month's time, we'll have all the information that we're going to get about this until, uh, say, four years' time, as it swings out on that long elliptical orbit that you can see there. So observatories all over the world have scrambled to point some of the largest telescopes we've got at this thing to try and pin down its orbit. Um, we've got time, we, colleagues, have got time on the James Webb Space Telescope, um, which is an infrared telescope. That will tell us what the asteroid is made of, and it will help us revise our estimates estimates of its size, pin down the orbit as well, and also tell us whether a mission to deflect it is likely to succeed. The good news is it's small enough that we think that basically just hitting it with an impactor, with uh, something sent from Earth, should deflect it if we need to. And so... Oh, my God. I mean, now you're talking, Chris. This yeah. is amazing. So, and we've all seen the film Armageddon. Yeah. Is it going to be like that? Will we be sort of firing missiles at it? I mean, how, well, how on Earth do you deflect a well, uh, an asteroid? The thing I've never understood about the films is it's always Bruce Willis for some reason. So hopefully somebody's got him on standby. But what actually happens is we actually ran a test of this just a year or so ago with a mission called DART that went and hit uh, a small asteroid, larger than the one we're talking about tonight, um, to check that we could deflect it. Now, that was an asteroid that had no chance of impacting Earth, but we could measure the deflection. And what we found was that, um, A, we have systems, modern technology is good enough to guide a satellite, an impactor, to hit something this small. And second, that when you do that, you get a big enough wallop that you can move it and adjust its orbit. We're really talking about a tiny change here. If and this is why it's difficult to predict the impact as well. If the asteroid arrived, say, two minutes later or two minutes earlier than expected, it would miss the Earth by many hundreds of thousands of miles. And so a small impact delivered, say, in 28 or 29 would be um, sufficient to, to save us. However, um, that relies on the World Space Agency's coordinating effort and getting a mission together. Um, and given the state of the world right now, it's a political question as to whether we have the will and the funding to do that. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, it's a really good point. And, uh, and again, quite worrying. Um, how, how, how long has it been travelling for? Where's it come from? Do we, do we know anything about its history? So it's likely to be an old piece of the solar system. So most asteroids like this are rubble left over from the time that the planets were forming, so four and a half billion years ago. Um, but often what happens is there's a collision or uh, perhaps a close encounter between objects out in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter that sends asteroids onto orbits that swing into the inner solar system and become a threat to Earth. There are many of these things known. We track about 40,000 of them at the minute. And we should get 
get used to this sort of scenario because we're building new telescopes and new surveys now, like the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, which will scan the whole sky looking for these things so that we can spot them in enough time to go and do something about it. I think you could describe the, the threat of an asteroid impact is worrying. We know that there have been asteroid impacts in the past. The last time something this size hit was probably in the early 20th century uh, above an unpopulated area of Siberia. But this is the only natural hazard that we know how to prevent as a civilization. We can go and chase the hazard, go and hit it, and, and hopefully save the Earth and be home in time for tea. <laughs> Let's hope so. Uh, you have put me at ease, Chris. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, great to have you on, and perhaps we'll get you back when it's a bit nearer, a bit sure. nearer to Earth. See Chris you Linton, in 2032. <laughs> OK, see you then. Thank you very much.